Hello, skillful tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 8, Day of the Destroyer, with me, Blowing Kilo. Our team of dashing adventurers needs some expert masterly training to be done, so today we're going to run around and get some of that covered. <clears throat> I'm not sure exactly what quest we're going to run today, but while I was looking around this place, I found a yellow barrel. So that means someone gets a little bit of accuracy, I believe. Probably give it to Galleon. All right, so, skills. Let's see. What do we need? Dragon Grandmaster, for sure. That's in Garot Gorge. Um, we can't get Learning Master until we have more intellect for Smishkin. We should be able to get ID Item Master somewhere. Can't get Water Grandmaster yet. I think we can get Learning Grandmaster if I can figure out where it is. So, identify Learning Dragon so far. Let's see. Ready, ready, ready. Can't get that until you're promoted. Looks like Christina's all good. Pretty sure Light we can't get yet either. So far, there's only a couple. That's good. And we need Plate Master and Grand Master. Okay. Not too bad. We've got a fair number to go for. So, some of these I should be able to look up fairly quickly. Learning is... Learning is always at the bottom of this. So, Learning Grand Master is in Garot Gorge. Same place... Same close to where... Um, we're trying to say close to where the dragon camp will be, so we're going to get those two. Um, we're looking for identify as well. Identify item. Did I miss it? You'd think they'd put identify monster beside identify item, but they didn't. We're getting close to Grandmaster Perception, which is in uh, the Minotaur City. That's easy to get to now. Perception. Meditation. We'll get Grand Matter. Grand, Grand Matter. Grand Happy Meditation one of these days. Merchant Repair. There we go. So, Master. Identify is in Dakerwood Islands. That's easy to get as well. Alright, then the other ones we're missing is mostly plate armor, which should be somewhere around here. A little bit further. I must have zipped right past it. Master Plate is in Ravenshore. Grandmaster is in Garrett Gorge. So we should go Daggerwound, Ravenshore, and then Garrett Gorge for the most optimal shortcut. All right, we're looking for Master and Fire. Bam! And I realize it's time to buy some more food as well. We'll have to do that before too much longer. It was, yeah, it was this set of houses. Houses. There we go. Bam! Not that we've had a whole lot of problem identifying anything for a fairly long time, but good to be mastered, right? We need to put more points into this. Well, disarm trap, master plus 10. Maybe we're okay. Traps are a real problem, though, on those days we get them wrong. Uh, plate master, right? Somewhere in here. There we are. I should have picked up some more, um, whatever they are, sealed, the, 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 we should have bought some more silver dust when we were in Ravenshore, seeing as we're coming through this direction. There you go, Galleon. Uh, was I missed, did I miss one? Learning Grandmaster, no, that's where we're headed. Dragon Grandmaster, Learning Grandmaster, everything's in Garrett Gorge. Alright, well, before we travel, we got to buy a bit of food, because we will actually run out if we have to walk to Garrett Gorge. So it sure would be nice to have Lloyd's Take Beacon. At home. There you go. If we had Lloyd's Beacon, I would have one in Garrett Gorge and Rummerwoods, and probably the desert as well. 
and then we could get around a little bit easier to all these areas. Now, we did kind of kill everything here. <laughs> Except for the dragons. I didn't want to fight the dragons yet. Grandmaster plate right there. Grandmaster learning right beside it. I'm mostly just glad that we didn't have to lose out on this, uh... On this town. Like, I was kind of worried that if we had to kill everyone, they'd stop, you know, training us. I guess... I guess they couldn't really do that without really messing up a lot of quests and promotions and stuff. Okay, so... Aliaz is now going to get... I don't know, 50 plus 9 percent, or possibly 19 times 5 percent. Depends on how that works. Galleon should be much quicker if we look at his attack recovery time compared to other people. So yeah, that's the difference. Grandmaster Plate completely removes the heaviness from there. And once we get Grandmaster Arm Master, it's going to be even crazier. That's that's a really, really good skill, and I understand why they sort of hid that one away. Um, similarly, Grandmaster Water. I'm gonna go Meditation Grandmaster next. I'm probably gonna put more points into Dark and Fire. Oh no, Alchemy. <laughs> Here we go. I forgot, I had enough for this. Yay, Alchemy Expert! I guess I should go learn that too, although... Time for Dragon Grandmaster right now. Although, before that, let's just see if there's any cool loots. Only the best goods here. Diamonds. We should always buy the diamonds. Now that I know what diamonds can do. Alright. It's a pleasure doing business with you. Still no horseshoes or anything. That's fine. We can outfit you. I don't think it's too likely we're going to find uh, better weapons at these stores these days. We're getting, we're fast approaching... Does anyone have any manners anymore? <laughs> Good work, Christina. Um, we're fast approaching either strong enchantments required or um, artifact tier equipment to really make, a, in, make an impact. Let's just make sure we can all see what's going on down here. Alright, Schminchkin, today's your big day. I think Grandmaster is one of these guys. I wonder if that's inside the castle and we should just finish this quest off. There it is. Alright. Full power... Ooh. Pushes your opponents back. Ooh, that's actually really good, possibly. Depends on how far it pushes them back. But, um... 30 spell points. Push them back, and then we can Flame Blast or Dragon's Breath. Plus, because you're a Grandmaster now, it's even more damage for this thing. I haven't used fear yet. I know this is like the starting skill and we still haven't really used it. Of course, now it affects all creatures within view, so that seems a lot more likely for me to uh, enjoy <laughs> than single targeting. Oh, we're definitely going to have to have some fun with that. It doesn't even say only works outside. Like, if that works inside, you could probably potentially really cheese some of the... Um, knockback effects around corners and stuff and be probably incredibly overpowered but that's the way we like it uh-huh uh-huh all right well let's um possibly clear out the, the the bad humans in here let's throw down a save let's find something never seen that before never seen that before it's up close we've got a quest we've been promoted I mean, who do you think we're going to side with in the long run? The humans or the dragons? I don't know. I get the feeling this is going to be very dangerous. Well, of course, we have the secret door trick. 
All right, well, let's prepare. These humans, we have a quest here, and I think it's time to try to get it out of the way. Do I need Hour of Power? I might. Is that all our buffs? I think that's all our buffs. <laughs> they know what's coming. I don't know. Um, no. I don't. I think know. the Dragon Slayers are going to be more dangerous. So missed. <laughs> there we go. Now we're we're at war. Let's uh. Ta -ta -ta. I mean, I don't know. Actually, slowing the Dragon Slayers that are far away might be good. Never seen that before. Maybe. I don't know. Trying out some spells. <laughs> Trying out some spells today. This also slows them down. Kind of curious. Well, those two are running away. This guy came closer. So let's just make sure he dies. Okay, well, fear, I think, has worked on those guys. I don't know. The dragon slayers are, in fact, afraid of dragons. I don't know. I don't know. Hmm. Oh. Fear is probably worn off. No. Never seen that before. I don't know. I think we'll be fine, honestly. I wish I knew. That guy's actually close enough for melee, interestingly enough. I don't know. Struck it down. Well that was easy. Okay, let's kill this guy in here. Oh, I should have healed there. That was a mistake. Stop picking on Alias. I wonder if they really don't like, you know, necromancers in this in this place. Well, we do have much better healing than we used to, so it's not that hard to heal up. Oh, I could have regenerated everybody. That's what I forgot. There's a lot of like buffing spells I can do, and I forget just which ones which. Which ones I like. Alright. All the people who are weak on HP should be feeling a little bit better. Halt! Only members of the Knightly Brotherhood may pass. Well, you know. I don't really care. I don't know. Now that guy is toast. Alright. Trying to get here from the other side, I see. Mercenaries and stuff. Even a mercenary captain. Considerably weaker than the, um... Whatever, the crusaders and stuff. And even better, they have loot! And secret little areas. Okay. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Well, let's go clear this out first. You'd think, actually, the knights would focus on hitting the dragons, seeing as... Well, the, the dragon slayers, right? Maybe they are, and I'm just not paying attention. Or maybe Schminchkin just doesn't care. He's so sturdy. We're going to check that little secret place out in a second. I'm not going to forget. Quite a few of these guys back here. That's a secret or a trap. <clears throat> yeah, we'll sell it. Let's see what's in here. Dragon Slayer. Never seen that before. Let's um re haste. I think as long as you cast this before it wears out, you can just keep it going forever. 
never seen that. Before. They must have good AC. We missed them a lot. And I think they did target Schmitchkin there. I don't know if they only target him. Never seen that before. It may be that Schmitchkin just has so much armor class that it's very difficult for anyone to hit him. Like, he does have... Well, tied with the Grandmaster Plate. <laughs> Pretty cool place, though. Nightly quarters. Okay. No secret buttons hidden there. <laughs> I wish we had um, Master um, Wizard's Eye by now. None of these are actually treasures or secrets. Wasn't too worried about that. No problem. Maybe this is the bathroom. <laughs> okay, feels like we've cleared out like most of this. There is like you can see on the map. There's that's gonna be the tunnel. So we're gonna have to go. Basically, I think the tunnel's all that's left. Let's go check these boxes out. Oh, they're all not real boxes. I was hoping we could loot them. Not even that. Oh, where's all my treasure? Well, hopefully we can find some treasure back here behind this busted wall. That one was weak. Oh, we're weak. I don't think my trick with haste worked or I wasted I waited too long before I recast it while we were exploring. Oh, well, we're not hasted right now. That's no big deal. It's only really a problem if that wears off in the middle of a big fight. Well, I guess this is like their crypt. Alright. I don't know why they had to break open a wall to get down here. Is there really no treasure? Oh, well. So here's a question. Do you think the actual leader of the knights, whatever that guy's name is, has even noticed that we've killed all of his guards? Or does he just not even notice? Like, just doesn't care. He doesn't care. We're still... We're still potentially bringing him an egg to get an alliance. <laughs> That's kind of what I figured would happen, actually. We've killed all the knights. Pretty sure every single knight on the map now is dead. Just double check fly around the corners here just to make sure like I don't think I've really explored all the way into the corners I think it's pretty safe to say we've cleared this area other than the dragons <laughs> and who wants to fight all those dragons really I forgot to use wing buffet I'll have to use that next time all right, well, let's go uh, turn this in. We're off to a pretty good start for today's episode. Bet you'll get a level up or something. Now, we will have to do the other quest as well, the kill all dragons, but I just want to be a little bit stronger before we try that. What are you talking about? I have totally killed everything. I'm not in a rush to do the Murmurwood, the Murmurwood quest because they're scary. I might do the Dark Dwarf quest. We'll see how dangerous that is. I still don't know where that is. I think they were traveling from Shadow Spire across to Ravage Roaming, but I don't remember if that's the end of it. Still need more of those. Kill all the Dragon Hunters in Garrett Gorge Wilderness Area. I even went inside the, t the building. I wonder if this quest is bugged on me or something. The area did reset that one time, so maybe we had a problem. Or maybe I've just missed one somewhere. Well, let's have a quick look around, but I think I've been everywhere, I mean. 
it's hard to imagine where I could have missed any more. It was green inside the um, the castle, and we definitely we we definitely got we we, we angered everyone inside the castle. Well, there is a road here. We never never really explored. Oh, what's this? Another temple? How did I miss this? This is the Grand Temple of Eek. This looks kind of like a mouse. <laughs> Not like a Mickey Mouse, like a, an actual real mouse. Alright, well, somehow I missed an actual dungeon because I'm a dummy. Does that get it to show up on the map? Good enough. Grand Temple. Well, I think there's supposed to be three. I wonder if there's one in between the first one we did and that one. Oops. Can't believe I missed an entire dungeon in here. All little white flowers. It's a suspicious patch of ground that we can't even get to. Well, I don't know where any more humans are. They would have to show up as a green or a red dot on the minimap. Huh. I guess maybe we're not going to be able to do that quest. I mean, I'd like to, just to get the rewards. And I mean, we've already kind of killed everyone, but... I just, I'm not sure what else I can do about it, basically. Unless there's like some secret entrances around here into another part of the castle. I've never really flown around and looked at the battlements. No, I think... I think what's happened is because the area has reset, we've uh, lost our chance, maybe. There you go, as well. Because it's all green. Oh no, there's yellow. Wait, we missed something in here. Okay, we missed something in here. I thought it was green, but there is still that little yellow icon. So I must have missed a room or something. Oh, I forgot about this. That was my bad. <laughs> I knew I knew there was a, a treasure here, or a secret here, and I just forgot to, to check it out. Okay, well there's a lot, a lot of these things. I wish there was a way to like save your turn for a second, because I wanted to do a wing buffet into Dragon's Breath, but uh... well, these guys are do dying pretty quick. Let's still wing buffet. It did not knock them backwards like it promised. I'm gonna guess that skill may actually be bugged, but we'll try it a couple more times before I know for sure. Yeah. The good news is we found the loot. Good question would be, why were these guys hiding behind a closed bookcase? <laughs> this is all pretty junky. Yeah, see, there's more stuff hidden in here. Oops, it's not. I don't want to pick this stuff up. All right, that's it. Well, these look a little bit better. I see money. I see another artifact longsword. Or, yeah, it's gotta be an artifact. It has its own name. Although they usually do say, like, the type artifact on them in the older games. Sounds like we got a weapon for Christina. Cool. I don't suppose any of these are fire resistance potions, eh? So, Christina, how oh, is it two-handed, though? No, it is not. Oh, there you go. It's pretty awesome. Medusa's power flows along the snake's blade. Doesn't turn them to stone. Decreases your personality and your water resistance. Who needs water resistance, right? Or personality, <laughs> but you do um, slow anything you hit. That's pretty cool. 
Maybe not the best artifact I ever saw, but, you know. I guess these have enchantments, so we should sell them. We've mostly solved our money problem, but, uh, you know. Just in case there's something really big. Oops. Sorry, Schminchkin, I guess these actually are trapped. Oh. Alright, I think we got all we can get. Oh, never mind. <laughs> oh. As soon as I say that, right? Oh. I have no more room. I have right. no idea. Okay. We got enough loot. We should have killed everything this time for sure. I was expecting all the loot to be in the um, the crypt. So the fact that we weren't able to get anything down there, I, I totally just left because I was mad and I forgot that we might be able to get some other stuff. All right, now this armor is all junk. Oops, one more thing. Glamour it up. Even though you have no personality, I don't mean no personality. Let's just say you have a negative personality. Um... <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I mean, you've got all the loots again. I mean, technically, I should be um, maximizing our profit with enchant item. Make no mistake. But, uh... Now that we can just teleport and make sell, make trading income, I don't think I want to waste too much time on that. It's all about saving money. Or, sorry, not saving money. It's all about saving time. Looking for a blade. Okay, we'll keep that. But we'll sell this stuff. Maybe have a quick look for some intelligence rings, although I'm pretty sure we've already checked this store. Yeah, we've already bought something from here. Probably a diamond. A pleasure doing business okay, with you. so I don't know how the dragons were able to find out that uh, we missed killing a few knights inside the uh, the secret stash. The, the dragons obviously knew about the secret um, behind the, the bookshelf treasure stash, and they didn't tell me about it, so that's not very nice of them. <laughs> but now that everything's dead, right? Okay, one thing I want to see here. Pretty sure this will be a quest turn in now. 79,200, 93,300. So, 7993 for the big numbers. 7993. There we go. Thanks again. So, 79 plus so it's 20,000 for Galleon. 93 to 613 was again just 20,000? Was that just a flat 20,000 XP for everybody? Boo. I was hoping someone would get more. You know, before we leave, um, let's go to the Temple of Eep. I'd like to get that uh, cheese quest out of the way if we can. The first temple was super, super easy, so... I think we'll be okay. And I feel a little guilty that I didn't explore this area thoroughly. Let's uh, do a couple buffs here. Make sure that's up to date. Everyone likes Day of the Gods. And Day of Protection. We'll worry about our power and stuff if we are if we need help. As with all places, holy to the followers of Eep, the temple smells damp of damp fur and cheese. A chorus of squeaks like chanting issues from within. These know. guys are so dead. It doesn't knock people back. Maybe it only works outside. We have cool music, though. Stupid rats. All oh, rats. Oh, 
Oh, behind us. We're just gonna we're just gonna rush through this place. <laughs> I guess we took a little bit of damage. I shouldn't be super super cocky. We want to be a little bit a little bit smart, smarter. <clears throat> Cure insanity. Yeah, we'll hold on to that. It's pretty expensive. There's a lot of stuff in here. I just, just found one of those. How many giant axes are in there? Alright. Remember that these are locked. It's important. Unfortunately, dragons can't wear belts. Implosion is a high level air spell. That might be a better bow than what we had. Actually, hold on. This bow is garbage. Temple mace? So, this thing, plus six? Well, Don't look at me. Oops, somehow this has been broken. I wonder how long that's been busted and I didn't notice. So we have 42 plus 5. This is definitely better. Depending on um, what enchantment we can get on it, basically. Double damage versus elementals. Whoop de woo. Seem to get that a lot. To be honest, I'd rather have the normal damage type enchantments rather than that, even if it has a slightly better attack bonus. That was pretty easy, Trinchkin, you're right. We're getting a lot of treasure here. Fairly expensive halberd. Oh. Worst chest ever out of all the ones. Funny how much stuff these guys store in their wardrobes. Let's just clear up this corner. Yeah. Looks like we're going to be done here pretty soon. There should be a hidden log of cheese though. Someone didn't... Uh, Line this up very well when they were building. Whoever the mason was needs to be disciplined. You think so? Whoa. Wasn't expecting we just jump on top of him. <laughs> okay. Okay, there's some guys behind that door. We have a scrolls. Should just give them all the Schmitchkin. So it's a fancy dark magic scroll. Scroll set. Look at my amazing strats. <laughs> Not that we even needed to consider stuff like that, but. Alright, is there gonna be some cheese in here? Betcha. Or a cool shield. A veteran shield. Another one of those bows. And an even better bow. But where's the cheese at? Oops. There's still another room somewhere we've missed because there's still monsters. Our spidey senses are still tingling. Behind the wine rack? There's always a secret treasure behind the wine rack. You know? So we should enchant this and that. And... Arms Master plus 3 is pretty good. Even though this has higher AC. Because... Tashi can't get a lot of Arms Master. That's... Plus 3 weapon recovery time. Just sort of from her shield. It's pretty good. Let's see what we get. I'm not going to be doing save loading just yet. But we'll, we'll try to enchant our two better bows. Hopefully they get something nice. Increased value. Uh -huh. Alright, well we'll just be selling I that then. Hmm. I can't identify it. 
I don't know. Picked up a few random things over the days from killing creatures. Oh. Okay. So, where is the secret at? There's gotta be a secret door somewhere. Ah, this is not even secret. It's just on the first floor. I think the map overlaps. Over overlaps this bit. Who wants to drink some water? <laughs> it is too easy. All right. Um, you know what, Alia? It's your turn. Apparently, this is not even water. It's an illusion. Taking your monies. Looks like there actually is something behind here. Bet you there's a switch. Talk about ma bad masonry work. Gee whiz, whoever built this pedestal really deserves to be fired. Ah, more loot! We definitely could have done this dungeon a lot earlier. Because it's not that hard. And we might have got some good money out of it. Back when I was running out of cut cash all the time. I will try not to use the... Um, the trade for super profit trick again because it is a little bit gamey it feels like even if it's not a straight up cheat it was designed in but I will try to avoid that unless we really need money again and I think the only thing that could possibly need that much money again would be if we need to train up some more levels Most of the stuff in here is pretty bad. Just make sure there's room in case there's a really big something. Now, did you notice on the floor, or on the mini-map, there is a blue... There's a blue dot in this corner. Ah. There you go. I bet you I know where that changed. Yep. Alright, so our mini-map, even without Master's Wizard's Eye, is working pretty good. Now, there's a lot of somebody with magic down here. Come to Papa! Alright, hold on. We want to be able to see. Okay, now come back to Papa. Okay, there's one more in this direction, at least. He's got some kind of acid burst spell himself. Is that all you got? Animorphs? Alright, I think we're done. Green light. And I bet you we'll find our cheese back here. There we go. Two down, one to go. And I think I know where the last one is too, actually. <clears throat> What's that? Resistant to insanity. Well, that's a pretty cool pair Sorry. of... No more room. I don't or, know. Not pair, but pretty cool oh. armor set. Oh. Oh. We got lots of stuff to sell again. Okay. I believe we are done here. Good work, everybody. That went pretty quick. Let's, uh, we should be able to get a level up. I think the last cheese is in Balthazar. Not the lair, but in Ravage Roaming. They were talking about a cheese temple over there, too. Maybe we should do that today before we wrap things up. 39 minutes in? Yeah, let's try to finish the cheese quest. Hey! The cows have moved in. Greetings. <laughs> Hello. These guys weren't here last time. 
problem with this lair, uh, with this town, is finding, um, where all the stores are. Fire resistance? Fire resistance! I think we need one more of those. Speaking, well, I guess we should check the standard, but yeah. Alright. This is the kind of place I probably, if I want to use this one more re regularly, I really should um, put in some notes, because they're kind of annoying to find. If I ever want to find these stores again. Okay, nothing here. Nothing here. Do, 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 do. This is like the center of the place. So this is weapons and armor. Yeah, because multiple layers, it's difficult even on the on the map. Our axes are the best. So we're gonna sell our weapons here, not the special. To be honest, we're just gonna sell some of that stuff. Oh, I forgot again, because I always forget. Looking for armor. Okay, we wanna save that. I might just end up selling that before too much longer. We'll save Implosion for now. Most of this stuff is going to get sold once we get to the uh, random item shop. Okay, so we can give anyone... We can give all of the armor to Christina. Again, remembering that I can do this from uh, at the store if I wanted to. Could enchant... I think we're okay for money for now. Let's not waste any time. I don't know. Let's just sell it. We're When we're dealing with artifact weapons, I think the chances of actually finding a better weapon, even with a double damage versus an elemental or something, I'm not going to actually equip, unequip the artifact very easily. Yeah, I just let's just clear up some inventory, basically. It's fine. Okay. Okay, we just gotta get to one more shot. Oh wait. I mean, we did make pretty good profit. We were down to like forty or fifty thousand before we got here. So here is. Amulets and uh, self. So we'll go accessories. That's exactly what I meant to type in. Good work, keyboard. Okay. Sell off we our got rings. Up here. And other valuables. There you go. Look at all that money. Awesome. Maybe some, uh, well, I've already bought something from here, so the chances of there being another intelligence ring is pretty low. I will have to buy some of these at some point and enchant them up to get the best possible armor class and all that. I'm waiting till we get Water Grandmaster, basically. Okay, other than that, the only thing we might do in here would be another training, assuming we could train. That was where we opened the floodgates, I think. No? Eventually, yes, I think. Yeah. No, that's the Minotaur Leader's Room. I think that was where we drained the floodgates, though. Are you in need of aid? We wish you luck. Keep thinking he's going to say, we wish you a Merry Christmas. 
All right, I found the training and the bank. Good. Here for instru Well done. Everyone gets a uh, level up. Some more skill time. I think we'll just continue working for sword and spear mastery. Tashi will. I guess it looks like I was I was starting to work on uh, meditation master, which is fine. Christina probably. We're gonna want disarm grandmaster at some point, but. We could go for Chain Master, actually. That might be worth it. Or Sword Master. I was going to test out recovery speed with which main hand worked better. We will want to Grand Master the bow at some point. Let's just keep prepping up for um, Earth Master once we're ready for it. And Meditation Expert. Alias... Oh, I forgot to train up Alchemy Expert. Well, we'll get around to that. I want more Dark Magic. This is our, like, go-to damage spell. Let's just buff it up a bit. And then Schminchkin. Yeah. Perception. Once we find the Grandmaster Perception Trainer, which maybe we'll do in a bit, we'll have, um... We'll be able to find all kinds of secret stuff. Depending on if we can even train it up or not. be somewhere around here. Perception. Grandmaster is in Balthazar Lair. Wow, it's almost like I planned this. And I totally didn't. Grandmaster Axe. Alright, so we need to go... There. <laughs> Alright, this is not my favorite town for getting around. Okay, up. A little swirly do. And then I think it's this way. And it's like one of these. No, that's the armor shop. It's this room, but on a different floor, basically. No. Um. So instead of that way, it's this way and then around and then down again. <laughs> there we go. All right, there you go, Schminchkin. Expert eyes. Surprised you don't need any, like, stats for this. You know, it's, it's weird how a few abilities require, um,. You know, some personality or some intellect. But most of them require nothing at all. Alright. Minotaur lair. That's all. So, like I said, I'm pretty sure... If we spend a minute flying around looking... We haven't really explored this place that great. Do we have enough? Just for interest's sake. No one else has 100 might. So we haven't really improved in that sense. Let's go head towards this lake. What do you, what do you think? It's either Pac-Man or a piece of cheese. Also, there's like... Um, what's my drop-down button? Ah, I was kind of expecting there to be a secret here. But yeah, this is another... This is definitely... This is definitely what we were looking for. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to be right the first place I went, but I'll take it. Let's go with two. I bet you this is going to be just as easy as the last dungeon. So we'll make a quick run through here and then we'll wrap our episode up. Just in case though, I'll put protection on. I'm not doing hour of power though. Now we're probably going to get blasted by something. Once we can jump over this. Okay, so the door closes. Well, this is not very nice. How are you supposed to do this? Okay, you just had to 
you have to do a running jump, and it's easier to do without double speed. You guys are fine, right? You don't need me to slow things down. This is annoying. Oh, am I supposed to jump on this? Alright, alright. You know who would be really nice here? A vampire. Vampires with levitation. Yay, platforming in a barely 3D competent world. Come on, I totally did it. I mean, maybe... The roof's not very high, so the jump spell actually probably not the right way to do this. This is super exciting. Oh, this is grand! I bet you someone was waiting for me to do this dungeon. Just to see how mad I would get at it. Oh, come on. If you hit jump just a half a millisecond too late, you uh, fall off the box and you don't get any jump. Oh, come on! I landed right there! It's like I'm standing on a pixel. Yeah, no, no, no! No! How else could you possibly do this? I don't have a telekinesis spell, do I? There's no such thing yet. There is a telekinesis spell, but I don't think I have it. There's a tele... telepathy spell. That's not gonna help. I might have one scroll for it. Yeah. Let's see if I can use this on the box. You're not allowed to use it on the box. No, it, you have to stand on the box to even get out of here. That's gonna help. Alright, well, the switch on the wall was the obvious solution. Trying to jump was the wrong way. Although, you did have to jump in the long run. Oh, this looks fun! Maybe that's the end of the dungeon, at least. Maybe our amazing perception dragon is actually making this really easy. Okay, had to open it from the front. Yay! Bowl of Dunduck! Okay, I think we got them all then. <clears throat> that was, uh, at least short. I have no idea what that is. <clears throat> I'm not gonna say much else other than that it wasn't a very long oh. dungeon. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's get out of here. Consider that place dealt with. Actually, there's still lots of rabbit roaming to do, but... Alright, let's go pick up our cheese that we stored here. I have been told that this is a bad place to store stuff because it actually gets uh, wiped eventually. But it's not been wiped yet. Oh, I need to deliver that. Let's make sure we don't lose that. Most of this stuff shouldn't matter. And I have been told that the best way to save stuff like this is to, um... To get, find a, um, an NPC, put it in their inventory, and then, um... And, uh... So put, find an NPC, put it in their inventory, and then store them at the inn rather than running around with you. And then you just switch out people whenever you want to get their loot. Anyway, let's go turn in the cheese quest. That was a very, that would have been a really good starter quest. I mean, to get to the Eep Temple in 
Ravage roaming. You might have had to dodge some Gorgons, but it still seems like it wouldn't be that hard. Excellent! You must have all the cheese. He just eats them all. Elden Bree. Dunduck. Not very nice. Alright, well, I hope you're happy. Here is your promised reward. I don't know what we got other than some money. Not even really enough experience for the whole team. Although, you may be noticing now that people who have Learning Expert are actually starting to get a bit of a head. Get a little bit ahead. Christina's still just catching up. <sighs> How close are you two, Galleon? Mm, fairly close. Still looking for fire Dang. resistance potions. Of course. Rings? We still need those intelligent rings, guys. Oh, quiet you. You didn't buy anything. I'm gonna yell at you. It seems to be the more the, the code for all of these merchants. In real life, you would not get a lot of you know return customers if you yelled at everyone who didn't buy anything the first time they looked around. We can train you. Very good. Good enough for me. Christina, you get... Earth, prepare for master. Alias. Well, to be honest, you do run out of actual spell points, so balancing dark and meditation, I don't know. Quintuple. So meditation grandmaster is going to be really good for having endless supply of magic. That's fine. We'll get both of them up to Grandmaster anyway. And Schminchkin... I suppose... If I could get your intelligence up there, I'd get you to Grandmaster Learning, but... Could get you to, gra to Master Body. Now, let's get you... Identify Monster to Master, and then uh, we don't have to worry about leveling that up anymore. Alright, we're gonna end the episode here. Unless we have some new rings for learning master for selection of heirloom artifacts. I think we still need that might be worth it. I think we still need like plus ten or so intellect. Doesn't look like we got anything good here. She's bearing skin so rude. How high is our disarm bonus? Plus ten. Selection of heirloom artifacts. Okay, plus 11 is technically better. Fine, we'll buy it. Plus rings are easy to, to fit in, basically. So now we can give you a different gauntlet if we want to, basically. Selection of heirloom artifacts. We are going to go to Murmurwoods before too much longer and deal with all these. Let's sell our armor. Let's not be lazy, but it is the end of the episode. <laughs> very, very close to exactly now. Do come in. All right. One. Actually, today we got quite a quite a good deal done. We finished the Eep quest, which was something we should have done a while ago. We uh, finished killing humans for the dragons, and eventually we'll finish killing the dragons for the humans. Um, probably next time we're going to deal with some dark dwarves. So that's my plan. Thanks for watching, folks. Hope you've enjoyed, and have a great day.